guys, my name's Neil. I'm a uh, team member for the promo team at St Ives Tackle. Uh, I thought we find ourselves in pretty desperate times at the moment. So with lots of us uh, stuck at home, not able to get out, um, lots of time on our hands, I thought we'd have a look at some rigs. So what I thought I'd do is I'd talk you through my favourite rig um, and how I tie it. Uh, and uh, hopefully you might be able to go and get some of the bits, order click and collect or uh, delivery, and then um, have something to do over the next three weeks or more. So here's the multi-rig. Um, I'll show you in detail. So uh, pretty simple pop-up rig, but it also works really well for wafters as well. It's very easy to tie, but you can see um, there's loads of movement there. So you've got equally as much movement in any spinner rig or anything like that. It's um, it's a real good hooker. Almost sits like a claw and um, guaranteed to nab you them whackers uh, and also not tangle when you cast it out. So that's the end product. And as I say, I'll talk you through how tight now. First thing is uh, any coated material. I tend to use the Jelly Wire on 25. Uh, and you want about, I don't know, 12 inches to um, 16 inches of that off initially. So decent bit of that off and then just trim that. Next up, take your hook. Uh, any outturned eye hook will work. Uh, this is a size five chodder, again from Atomic. Obviously always check that's nice and sharp before you start. And then um, is a really key point here. So I want this pop-up to um, sit quite low. The length of the loop will dictate how high the pop-up sits. But as I say, I like it to sit really quite low, as I showed you before. Uh, so the way to achieve that nice, nice low-line pop-up is to take care when tying the loop. Uh, the way you do this is I put this hook on my uh, on my knee and then I'm going to form the loop. But I'm not going to put it tight until it's ready. I'm going to measure it against the hook. I'll try and show you what I mean. So overhand loop as normal. If you haven't already, get yourself a crochet hook from somewhere like Dunelm. Much better than uh, snapping um, baiting needles, which gets very expensive. And then I'm going to just measure that now so it's the same size as the hook. So I've got it, I haven't pulled it tight. To measure it against the hook now and get it exactly the same size. You can manipulate and slide it when you're ready, just pull the tag and that'll draw it down and then give it a nice pull. Again, this is why a crochet needle is so much better than a baiting needle and then just trim off your tag end as you would normally. Now with your loop, Pass it through the eye of the hook, but not towards the point like you would normally with a knotless knot, through the back, and then onto there, just thread a hook ring swivel. This one's from Thinking Anglers, but all the different companies make them nowadays, although they were the first to uh, bring out that product. Next, you should see it's only just big enough for the loop now to pass over that hook, which means we're gonna get a nice low line pop up Obviously, if you want your pop-up much higher, make your loop bigger. Pull that down. Next is to take the stripper tool. This one happens to be from quarter. Go up against the knot at about just under a centimetre. That's all you need. Just peel that back. So there it is, up against the knot. About a centimetre. This next bit's really important. These coated materials, all the same, they've got a waxy layer on them and it's nowhere near as much movement there as there is in the one I showed you. And the way you make it more movement, you can put it in hot water and you do it. All you've got to do is just manipulate these fibres. So twist them round and just really manoeuvre it so the braid behaves like a braid. Otherwise, you just don't get the movement. It's a really small little step, but it's really, really important. And now that pop up, I've got loads of movement. Almost done. Some people tend to then leave their multi rig like that. But what you'll find is it's very, very prone to slipping. It pulls through really easy. So if you get a big cast or anything like that, you can find um, you very easily, uh, you're not fishing your D as you want it. Your, your, your D rig slips and it's not working. So all I do to combat that problem is just put on a very small bit. Again, it's less than a centimetre. This is the 0.75 mil silicon. It's, it should be difficult to get on, 
If it's easy to put over the hook, it's gonna slip on a cast. So just experiment with the size of hook you've got, how it's gonna fit, but you want it to be a nice fit. So take care with your fingers here because you've obviously got a sharp, sharp hook and you don't want to uh, hook your thumb or your fingers. Just get this into position, I can show you what I mean. So it's over the knot. Now what I'm gonna do is pass that over there and you can see it's quite tricky to do, but get that over. So now it's covered that. Take hold of your swivel and put it up. And I want the swivel just in line with the barb there. You can see now a split shot, whatever you need for your bait, your hook's gonna sit really low. And uh, rig's pretty much done now. Take however long your rig you want to be. I tend to go for about nine inches. Double it over, and just tie an overhand loop. Crochet needle. So the first loop, I made an exact size to fit the hook. This one, I want to be bigger. And about inch, inch and a half, something like that. Basically, I want it to be a big enough loop to be able to pass the hook through and the bait. So trim that. beauty of this stuff is that uh, you don't need to heat it or steam it to straighten out. Take your fingers, run them down like that a few times, nice straight hook leg. All I, all I do to finish off is a small little bit of uh, heavy putty. You want it above halfway, so away from the hook, above halfway and then that way just put that through there, rub it through your fingers a few times. Just like that. You've got a nice streamlined bit of putty, but it's making the mass over more of the hook link. So that will sit nice and straight. The reason I tend to do it with this is this loop now does two things. It means I can connect it to my leader by just passing the loop through the swivel. And then putting the hook through there, back on itself. You can even have, because the loop's big enough, you can even have your bait on there all ready to go, all ready to go, so it's nice and quick. And the other thing this produces is this bit here now, near the leader, is doubled. And with a 25 pound strain, that's almost like a little boom, so you don't have to put a silicon boom on there. That's it, multi-rig, ready to cast out. Get yourself uh, a fish, that'll catch you um, fish from anywhere. Uh, no matter how easy or how hard, really easy to change hooks again, uh, and a good little rig. Hope you enjoyed that. Get yourself uh, down to St Ives Tackle, click and collect as I say, or uh, delivery. Make use of these uh, dark times. Cheers guys.